Too early to start toy shopping for the holidays, not in the wake of a pandemic and global supply shortage, though. And Better Call Harry tells us if it's in stock, you're better off buying it right now. It's always fun when you spend your afternoon shopping for toys, and we found plenty of things that are in stock, like this Barbie Dream House for $199, on sale for $159 at Bed Bath & Beyond. It's in stock. These poppets, they're in stock at Target. We go over here, here's where we get into trouble. PlayStation 5, it's been out of stock for about 20 years. And then finally, you look at these little LOL surprise dolls. They're in stock now. But even the manufacturer says, not for much longer. MGA Entertainment CEO Isaac Larian has an office filled with toys. 85% of his company's products, like LOL Surprise and Rainbow High, are made in China. Getting them into U.S. stores this holiday season won't be easy. A lot of them are sitting in factories, factory floors in Asia. A lot of them are in containers on the way here. The global supply chain is still playing catch up from pandemic related disruptions, including factory shutdowns and a spike in online ordering. That's led to a shortage of shipping containers causing prices to explode. Last year, a 40 foot container cost $3,200. Now it's a bidding war. It's gone up to $22,000, $23,000. Companies that win the bid face another major challenge. Dozens of ships carrying everything from computers and clothes to toys are waiting outside of Los Angeles area ports. Mario Cordero is the executive director at the Port of Long Beach. Only about 40% are on schedule because of the delays at the port of origin, whether it's China, whether it's Vietnam. Once containers are unloaded, a trucker shortage is delaying shipments. When can we expect things to return to normal? Uh, that's a good question. Uh, that, that, that period keeps moving up. He believes the supply chain won't improve until next summer. Larian is now using air freighters to try and get toys to customers in time. And when it comes to holiday shopping... My advice to parents, etc., is don't wait. Better Call Harry, CBS 46 News.